Hey everybody, my name is Carlos Slaap, watchmaker from the Netherlands, and I would like to give you a small tour here in the workshop. The new additions, the updates, the upgrades, just to give you an idea of what we're working on. Well, when you enter the workshop, the first thing you see is a new lathe from 1900. Just a lovely piece. Uh, the, you probably know the three machines for engine turning. And we made the base the same color. Looks so much nicer. Um, here, the big table where we do um, teaching and stuff. All the books, the library, all the pupils, the students have full access to the library. Cheers, everybody. Mm. There are a few new additions. You probably know the gear cutter. 1938, 39, I think. Well, here is the new first big edition. It's a comparator profile projector. A lovely piece. Nogmaals dank Hein. Echt heel gaaf. A huge thing. And we need it for um, making new parts. Now it's only got a 10 times amplification, but even now you can see there probably the escapement. Uh, why we wanted this one is here is the uh, digital readout. So much more accurate. So we really needed this one for um, quality control of our own watch and uh, making parts during restoration. Well, the cleaning machine has got a new place there. And I think here, yeah, there's the pre-rinse cleaning machine. If especially pocket watches are really full of um, oil, then we do a pre-rinse there. Well, there, Fons and Rover today on the, all the desks. And what else is new? Well, Jurian, thank you well, because all this is looking so nice now. All the stuff you usually don't make time for because you, we are so busy uh, restoring watches, but now finally uh, all done. So nice, clean looking work area. That is at the far end where I do the, the streaming, but Usually, uh, in the previous workshop, we did streaming from uh, other machines as well, the green coat streams. But now, um, <laughs> simply, the workshop is too big, too long. So there's a lot of loss in the cables. So I wasn't able to stream from different uh, positions for the machines. So uh, now we've got a portable stand for the computer and the four cameras we use. And then uh, we can stream from this area as well here. Um, so pretty soon the green coats, we will resume the green coat streams from all the machines. Um, a new addition. Oh, this is a bit cleaner now, which is nice. But here, the small lathe, uh, Leine Bolle, uh, eight millimeter. Here, the Chaublin 70, uh, lovely machine. Really, really completely in love with this one. The Chaublin uh, 102. And here the first 102 we've got. And because we made so many hours on this one, this is the one I always use because, well, we're friends, <laughs> old friends. And then a very happy client uh, asked me, well, I've got a spare lathe and I uh, don't have the place for it. Uh, would you like my lathe? There is only one answer to that. Yes, please. It would be bad form to say, nah, we don't need another lathe. 
So uh, we made a bit of space, of course, we're masters in Tetris. <laughs> and when it was delivered, I wasn't here. And then I saw it and I thought, it is way too big, it is rusty, it is clunky. Oh. But then, mm, <laughs> late in the evening, with uh, plenty of coffee, I saw what it was and it is a uh, South Bend and it was 10 or 13, let me see. Yeah, the South Bend 10 inch and it's beautiful and been watching all the YouTube films and in the old um, books it is mentioned. It is so stable with the double bed and with the thread cutting, it's fully complete. So uh, I cleaned it, um, all the rust is gone. Uh, the bed is in excellent nick. So we are so chuffed with it that uh, the South Bend, the American South Bend 10 inch lathe with a double bed and the thread cutting uh, stuff it is complete and it's so nice and i thought first oh, we're not going to use it we are going to use it definitely so lovely surprise and thank you so much ed uh, for donating your beautiful machine and we are really going to use it over here the old um, profile projector the comparator and I thought, well, maybe we put it for sale because the new one over there is going to do the trick. But then Edwin says, no, stop. That one is excellent for drawing um, parts. So we are going to use it. There, the Hauser hardener tester we're going to use for quality control once we are uh, producing all the springs we need for our own watch. Uh, Fat Bertha, uh, really soon, probably coming week, uh, I'll make a special about this jig borer because that is really something special. What else is new? Oh, here, uh, the, <laughs> here the Agaton, the Myford lathe. It used to be over there, but it's so much nicer when all those lathes are just over there. So the Myford, excellent little machine. So um, it's there. There the um, yeah Komslijper. Very um, accurate, especially for the height. This one is new. Lovely little milling machine. A tiny bit smaller than the Deckel FP over there with all the extras we have. Beautiful stuff, but this is just nice for the, the small things. One uh, we do have to do a lot of work uh, is the, I wanted to say um, gear cutter, but it's a gear hobber. Uh, I think 1953, we still have to restore it, but <laughs> First, we have to find the time. And here, the two um, glass bead blasters, or sand blasters, um, especially with the 80s Tuck Hoyer cases. Um, it is sandblasted. Well, we thought it was sandblasted, but it isn't. Uh, it is glass bead. And finally, 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 we found the exact grain or grit uh, of sandblast with the uh, air pressure and now we can replicate or restore those beautiful uh, mid 80s uh, tuck hoyers especially with the titanium cases and the glass bead finish it's beautiful here Edwin has done an amazing job for the glass sliding door so all the dust of the uh, polishing is going to stay there. And um, so that is all airtight. There is the huge suction 
uh, there's going to, pipe, going to be a pipe over there and sucks all the air out and clean it. Well, there are the polishing machines. That one, Elmar really loves to do the polishing sitting down. I really do like to do the polishing standing up. Uh, pretty soon a polishing course. And here, Edwin has got did an amazing job of the glass cutter uh, is here now and that's excellent uh, lovely little machine so all the crystals we can cut here ourselves and of course the wet area with uh, ultrasonic cleaner dryer another ultrasonic cleaner but that is plastic crappy thingy and there the two spindles and that is for brushing and the tumbler because it's a bit noisy and now with a glass sliding door it's excellent so finally glass beads beautiful finish for restoring those watches and here are some machines in the cabinets we're not going to use too daily so there is Fons making a small part for a 1950s watch and yeah, just lovely all the lace over there well, I really do hope you enjoyed the small tour on our workshop. Uh, I'd like to do a quarterly update on what is happening here. And uh, well, hope to see you soon. <laughs> see you. Bye bye.